QEA stands for Quantitative Engineering Analysis. QEA is a second semester freshman course. This semester for QEA we have about 60 students, which is around two-thirds of our, of our freshman class. On most engineering programs, uh, students take a bunch of foundational mathematics courses foundational physics or science courses with the notion that at some point in their engineering curriculum they will use that material to design, build, etc. It's expected that the students will just be able to take what they learned in the mathematics class and the physics class and then walk into the engineering class and be able to use it. Unfortunately we've seen at Olin in many of the later classes and particularly in our senior capstone program that that bridge is not obvious for many students. That in many cases they'll come into the engineering context and words are used that are different from what they saw in their mathematics class. And so from a student perspective, it's as if they're learning three completely different languages, when in fact the core language is the same for all three. And so if we wanted to address that issue, we felt it was important to get faculty members to start speaking the same language more consistently. If you look at the, the individuals that make up our teaching team, uh, there's a pretty diverse background. And so I think we really have unique perspectives, all of us, to add to the conversation. So I think there's huge benefits to having that kind of cross-disciplinary teaching team. And I think QA really demonstrates that. The goal of QEA was to create a class where the students saw the whole process, everything from the theory through the physics and the application to actually solving a real engineering challenge using the mathematic tools all in one context. The course itself is designed around uh, three projects. The first project was a how to design and build a boat first module of the course we're looking at boats and looking at buoyancy and, and stability and so we're teaching free body diagrams but also multivariable calculus and uh, volume integrals and these sort of things and you know we move into the second module which is this facial recognition software which is super relevant um, for a lot of different applications and then the third module will move into robotics and we really start talking about parametric curves and motion and reference frames and again we're, we're framing all this in terms of this robotics project, so it really puts a, a nice physical uh, framework on, on all the concepts that we're looking at. We've picked these in such a way that the students will encounter the challenge, have to work through the mathematics in order to build up the capacity to perform on the challenge, and then they execute on the challenge. For example, that today, um, when we had students working with um, parameterized curves. Before students had come to class, they'd engaged in a very structured sort of overnight activity that involved their really digging into the mathematical definitions. And they came to class this morning, we did the retrospective, there was some amount of confusion around some of those issues. And that's not surprising to us. We actually expected that confusion because the thing that we wanted to do was have them talk about that confusion and then try to apply those ideas to something a little bit more concrete. And then finally, in the second half of the class, students were taking the additional step of actually trying to get robots to do the things that they wanted to do, them to do it was something they actually were able to see and to make happen, not just to sort of practice for the sake of passing an exam. I walk around the classroom and my job is to listen to students, to observe what students are doing. Uh, as I observe the students, I will ask them questions. Uh, sometimes I'll ask them very specific targeted questions, like if I see them maybe going down an incorrect path, I'll ask them leading questions to try and get them to go onto the correct path or see the correct solution. So in this way, we're uh, addressing the sort of just-in-time learning where the students are thinking through the process, but we're providing immediate assistance when and where they need it and when they get stuck. We're interested in students developing both the confidence and the confidence to choose, learn, and use the power tools of mathematics, science, engineering science. We want students to reach success at the end, but reach success having tried some things, failed, reflected on that, and then finally being successful.